just me, the criminal, driving down the road, uh, heading towards some food for the whole family. Amy's here, Justin from all the way from Ontario. Got the kids down to Columbus for the weekend. Uh, that's correct. I was second place, third, and absolutely no defense. I hit that guy fair and square. Uh, I snuck out of the hole with Path of Totality, and she it just ran in. You didn't really sneak. Did you go? No, no, the sneaking part was good. Oh. The problem was when I snuck out of the hole, it would be like me robbing a store and getting caught in the road getting away. I guess so. I got out of the jewelry store. Okay. Well, I got caught at the stop sign down the street. What happened was I came out of the hole, and Path, you know, she yeah. gets over this surface so what's she, she exit? I-71 North. I-71 North, thank you. So, she got out of the hole cleanly, and she loves this surface. She doesn't get all out of gear like she does at the Meadows. Man, I, I'll i talk about the start of the race in a minute. Let's talk about the crime first. Um, I get out of the hole, and I didn't think, I would have moved her hair earlier, but she gets out of gear, and she will make a break in the last turn. You guys saw it at the Meadows. So, I really thought that maybe Chris Page's Philly was just pulling up a bit on the front, and that one street gossip got to her, she'd go on again, and we'd get a good run at both of them. It didn't work out that way. Chris's horse was actually all done. And I just, just got out. And she had to trot it forward when she got out right away. Um, I'm good, I'm clear. But what happened was she stalled a bit and just got out of gear for a step. And when she did, she ran in. I was already tight to Chris Page's wheel, and I had to scoop her up a bit. When I scooped her up, she corrected herself, and there's Sandy right there on my wheel. Um, certainly wasn't his fault. So, uh, an almost perfect crime. And then I'm watching the TV, and there's no blinking six. There's no blinking six. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, where do I go here? Go and I'm thinking to myself, put up the official sign, put up the official sign, put up the official sign. And uh, on goes the blink. <laughs> so, I looked at Sandy. He was five feet away, and I said, damn. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, Ah, it wasn't that bad. I'm like, they've been watching it upstairs. They finally decided that they'd seen enough of the last turn to put the inquiry up. I just went up and got changed. I knew I was getting set back. But, you know, my way of looking at it, uh, it was funny. The, the judges called me after. They'd already placed San, They'd already placed me. Um, 71 North? They already placed Sandy. They call. I call up. Uh, and I said, hey, it's Anthony McDonald. I say, hey, Anthony, you know, it looked like you snuck out fine. Then she just got a little rough and, and ended up, you ended up, uh, uh, where are we going here? 71 North? Yeah. Uh, you ended up touching Sandy up. I said, you got me. I said, gentlemen, life is full of regrets. And I'll have to be honest, the only thing I regret tonight is getting caught. <laughs> it's the only thing. <laughs> so he laughed and I said, you know what? The way I see it, uh, I was almost out. I was out free and clear. And if I don't come out, I'm fourth. So second place, third is still better than fourth. He said, that's a great way of looking at it. He said, so that was that. And the race was over. Now, the one thing about Sayota Downs with Path of Totality, man, she feels so much more comfortable. Go back and look at some of her races at the Meadows. She's hot getting in behind the gate. A little bit rickety. You lo I lost her behind the gate one day. Today she coasted up to the gate quiet. I'm looking left and I'm thinking, I know, I can hear the voices in my head saying, you can leave with this filly, you know, or this mare. But I, until the point of the gate leaving, I didn't know whether I was gonna take her back or, or leave with her. Now, my track record, my history, the smart money was on me leaving with her, I'll admit it. But man, did she ever come screaming off the car. We were up there 27 and one and I had her stopped up in the middle of the turn. Uh, she's just such a nice mare. I hope she stays sound because she is such a nice mare to drive. You know, if that two horse toes us to the head of the lane and I get her down on the inside, I think she's probably a winner, right? And I told you guys, I kind of put my foot in my mouth last week. I said, you know, I get this same group. I'll give them all they want. We got a little tougher group and still gave them plenty tonight. And I was so, so proud of the way she raced. Now, rewind way back to the start of the day. None of you really knew this because uh, because it wasn't official, nobody saw it on the qualifiers, but yes, school this morning. This was the first time I'd seen yes since springtime, and we really didn't know what was going on with them, right? A lot of questions asked. Irv did a good job getting the horse sounded up. We had the, we had the ultrasound on that leg, perfectly clean, a little bit of scarring in there, completely expected. 
but uh, nothing wrong with that left hind suspension. He did a great job. Uh, they did a great job keeping him good. The rest of it was all a mystery. What was going on? I couldn't quantify what I saw on the TV to what we were looking at there. And really didn't know what he, how he would do this morning. He went a mile 55 come the last half of 56 seconds and looked very, very good. Um, made a few little changes with him, a few little equipment changes, and Jason and I talked about a few other ones we we're going to make. But he was really, really good this morning. Um, perfect record was terrible, but I think his AST was just a little bit high for his liking. You know, I thought we could muddle through and get him uh, through his qualifier, but he was rather weak today, but he did his work. Got him through the qualifier, did his work, but that qualifier in no way was an, an, an adequate springboard into a pair mutual event. I'm gonna need to see a lot more from him, and if we pull his blood and it gets back to good and he looks anything like that, we're probably gonna give him some time off. Um, no lameness issues that I could see, he just didn't, he had no pop to him. He didn't even have fourth gear today. Don't talk about fifth gear. He didn't even have fourth gear today, but he did his work. You know, like the professional he can be when he puts his mind to it. He didn't do his work great, but he did it. You know, there was no steps or anything. He was just weak. So we'll uh, we'll draw his blood again and see how high that muscle count still is. I suspect it's still a little elevated, and he might be one of those horses that any elevation of all at all he can't function with need to keep it down below two, 300 or he just can't function at all. It was up at 1800 the other day. It may have been elevated a little bit more. I would have thought it would have come down, but the horse I sat behind today was a shell of the horse that we that we sent out. He doesn't look any worse. He just was worse. So um, I think the blood work is gonna be the key to a uh, perfect record and what we do moving forward. Uh, what else do we do? What else do we school? Uh, uh, Dolce, St uh, Stonebridge Dolce schooled and so did Three Point Blue Chip, got them some gate work, some more slow miles into them, very happy with the way both of them worked. Now, as I said, come down and raced Path of Totality tonight. Eh, I'm not upset. You know, if I if, if I got if I think that I was in the right or I don't think that they made the right call or I drove her bad or something happened, you know, I'll fess up, you guys know that. I did interfere with that guy, and I don't regret it. I regret getting caught. But the Philly Ray, the mare race, great. In with some pretty good horses. Street Gossip's one of the best colts in Ohio last year. I believe he was the, the number one colt. He was the, the top Ohio colt last year. And some real killers in there, too. So, I mean, Path of Totality showed how good she is, shows that she belongs, and shows that she loves Scioto Downs. I was happy. I couldn't be happier. I knew I was going to be second place, third anyway. Come off the track. Kirby said, were you second? I said, for a couple of minutes I will be. And he said, what do you mean? I said, I hit Sandy, I'm going back. So um, what's done is done. And then I got to watch the two in Ontario. I thought World for Two raced good. Still getting there, getting there, getting there. Um, I'd like to see Mario take him to Georgian, to be honest. I don't really want to keep racing against those horses in Mohawk for now. I really think we need to have a little team meeting about how we're going to manage this horse. I only want to see six, seven starts into that colt this year. I want to see him stay sound. I want to try and keep him fresh. I want to put him in where he can win. Not to say that he can't go with them, but, you know, those classes aren't going to get any cheaper for a bit. Now, when the stakes start coming, you're going to see them weed out a little bit, fine. But in the meantime, I wouldn't mind seeing a Georgian start for the big guy. But we'll see. I'll talk to Mario about it. And then the Colt, um, he's still got those flip-flops on him up front. He thinks he was slipping a little bit. You know, this was his first start he won, right? And it was an inclement night. So it's hard when you have a muddy night like that to say, ah, the flip-flops and he was slipping. Okay, it was money. Could have been easily been the flip-flops. There wasn't any mud tonight and he sent me a message. He said, I really think the pace and Colt race good. Trot and Colt let me down. He said, he's gotta be slipping with those flip-flops on. Maybe we'll take those flip-flops off and get them scoped. I think that's a, a great, uh, you know, great way to look at it and great course of action for that Colt. Sure, I would like to see him win. Call a spade a spade. Anthony Hahn did a great job, him and Megan, that Colt that won the race, good for them. I hope they have a great summer with them. And I hope we have a great summer with Renegade Gypsy also. Thought he raced well. I'd like to see more. I don't want to see him on the front get beat up all summer. But I think he can hang with any of those horses in Ontario. And although it would be great to go to the gate, even money like we did, and run off like the winner did, it doesn't always work that way sometimes. So let's not be greedy. The horse race good tonight, picked up 10 or 12 grand and looked good doing it. All in all, it's a great night now finale of my video. I had a number of people email me and text me and call me and said, 
why in the hell is adrenaline rush in tonight in a condition claimer and then back in Sunday in a condition claimer? Surely you're not going to race this poor horse twice in four days, three days. No, that wasn't my intention. I, I apologize. I entered him at Mohawk for Jason. I entered him on, on, the, on the portal for Jason. And I said, you know, in case they don't go with that class, let's put him back in for Sunday. Never thinking that he would get in both days. But when he got in at Mohawk, I should have called and canceled that entry. And it's just an error on my part. I, I texted the race secretary at Georgia and hope they can pull that horse out of the box. Just call it an honest error. But we'll see. Either way, he's not going to race on Sunday. So he'll race tonight at Mohawk, and then we'll move forward. My apologies for that. Um, but it's the only apology you're going to get from me tonight. I was very happy with the way the day went. Um, very happy with everything today. Happy to have my family, Jason or Justin, with me. And um, I'm going to spend the weekend with uh, friends and family. So going to need some luck tomorrow. Got our four, four, uh, four big guns in in Scioto Downs. Summer's starting. It looks good. Another th couple of thirds tonight out of Canada. And uh, second place third. Three thirds so far. Second place third for Path of Totality. So, uh, I hope you guys had a good day. It can always be better. I like to turn those threes into ones, but they can always be fives also. So, be thankful, be happy, and have a great Monday evening.